you for joining us at five right now. A situation no better in one area of Wasico at this moment. An entire subdivision remains flooded. Yeah, the water above knee level. It's about the same as it was around this time last year. Here's Channel 5 meteorologist Cecilia Gutierrez. This is Las Brisas this same time last year. This is what it looks like today. And then this year it happens again, like what, four days after it happened last year. The only way in or out is to walk, ask the city for help, or risk your own vehicle. Floodwaters once again blocking roads and inundating people's homes. Estella Chapa says when she started to see the water rising, she got out. Left. Yeah, we left like around 1030 because we didn't want to be stuck in here. Like last year, we got stranded here and then they had to take us out. It's deja vu for Dahlia Garcia. I had water in my house last year and uh, I was worried about last night that it was going to rain and uh, thank God it didn't. I want to go to work and I can't. The water receding on some streets. On others, the water is thigh deep. They have my, my street clothes. I can't, I can't bring my vehicle and I can't really get dressed in my, my work clothes to go to because then I'd have to walk through this and then go to where my, my truck is at because I was able to get it out last night. Both Garcia and Chapa are hoping a solution comes soon. They're worried about history repeating itself for a third time. In Westlake, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 5. A drainage projects have started in the Las Brisas area. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. A detention pond is in the works right now, right next door to the neighborhood. Hidalgo County Precinct 1 started that project back in April. You might remember in November of 2018, voters approved a $190 million bond for 38 projects addressing the most crucial infrastructure needs in impacted areas.